Welcome back to the Make or Break Shop. This week we're gonna be working on a ton of picture frames and we're gonna be making them out of walnut. For the first one that we're gonna be working on, this is going to be a design from one of my favorite TV shows of all time, Parks and Rec. Uh, this is the original one from The Artist. Here's a link down below if you guys wanna check this out. These prints, they do limited runs. Um, this is number 1348 of 1550 looks like. So, because we've got the one and only Ron Swanson, we need to make it pretty nice. So we're gonna be working with Walnut. And uh, the process for this is I've got some uh, walnut just from the mill. It's eight quarters or two inches thick. The first step is to strip it down to size and then get it down to the strips that I am going to be working with. So as I'm cutting it out on the table saw, you can see that I did not have it exactly in the middle. And so I actually wound up having this a good bit thinner than I was going for, but I think it's still gonna work. All right, so now that I've got these pieces cut out, uh, we're gonna be working on the half laps. Um, and all that is, these are gonna connect like this but a section is gonna be cut out from the top and from the bottom so that they sit flush. Um, I'm gonna be doing that with a dado stack on my table saw. Uh, you don't need a dado stack. This is just gonna speed the process up. I'm gonna be attaching that and then I'm just cutting it to the line to make these work. So now we are getting the middle of this guy. And then to make sure I'm getting the absolute middle of this cut, I'm going to sneak up on it. And this is actually just a scrap side. We get right in the middle before we make the rest of these cuts. And now that we've got the blade height set to go exactly in the middle, we are going to be cutting off the ends of all this frame. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, one of the pieces as the actual spacer, so I know how far to go in, and then make a series of cuts just using this little um, cross cut miter thing. What we wind up with is something like this once everything is assembled together. So it overlaps on the same spot on both sections. And then I just drop this into clamps and clamp the entire thing up. So I'm just gonna use a piece of paper. This is actually uh, cardboard from the piece of glass we're gonna put in just has my backer and I'm testing this out and I just cut it out and uh, I needed to make a rabbit if you are doing a miter you can actually do these rabbits before you glue it together but since I did not do a miter joint if I did the rabbit before I glued everything together then you would actually see it coming out the ends so instead I'm just using my router with a rabbit bit and coming through and knocking this out and then I have to use a chisel to get these square corners to make it all fit. But then this guy is just going to attach like this. Or not attach, but slide in. And we're gonna have something like that that we can work with. So this joint is pretty strong. I mean, there's actually a lot of surface area uh, when you think about that it's half lap. So all of this right here is all glued together. But I wanna make it a little bit stronger and I thought this would be fun to add some detail to it. Um, I'm going to be doing some dowel plugs on the ends and I think I'm gonna do them out of maple uh, just to add a little bit of contrast to this. So the first step is we are going to drill a hole out of all these ends on drill press. 
So I've got this maple scrap actually from a butcher block build. You can check out right there. And I'm going to be using this to do the dowels because uh, the contrast between this and the walnut should look pretty nice. So these are just to make the miters a little bit stronger. Also adds a really cool, nice detail on the edges. And then I just gotta cut some glass to the right size. So you can get these little glass cutting tools that lets you score um, the piece of glass and then you just snap it into place. I'm about 50-50 on if I get this totally right. And then I'm actually using some scrap cardboard that I've got laying around that's white just as my backer for the picture. And then I'm just using some blue tape to tape the artwork to the back. And then I can put everything into the frame. There's a bunch of different ways that you can actually attach this stuff to the frame. Um, you can use brad nails. I've seen that done in the past, uh, but actually got some hooks specifically for this. So I think you're supposed to be using a specialty tool kind of shoots these into the sides. Uh, but in my case, I'm just using a hammer um, and then I just push it into place. And last but not least, adding a little bit of hardware to hang it up and it's done. All right, so we are pretty much done. Hopefully a wooden frame that even Ron Swanson would be proud of. For all, a fairly easy build. In fact, I'm actually doing a ton of these picture frames for big picture frame wall that we've got in our house. Um, I actually did a light box last week. You can check it out right up there. That was for Stranger Things that looks pretty neat. And then coming in the future, I will have a lot more picture frame builds. They're already live. You can check them out here. If not, there's some other cool projects you can check out. So until next time, go make or break something in your shop. See you guys.